Are you confused by the backstory of Deadpool's latest rival, Cable? Don't be embarrassed, everyone is, even me. And I'm like, monumentously smart. Even by comic book standards, which care as much about logic as I do about Twilight fanfiction, Cable's history is, well, crazy town bananas. This grizzled, one-armed lump of grump first appeared in the comics as a baby. Okay, that part's not so crazy, but his parents just so happened to be the X-Men's own resident Ray-Bans enthusiast Cyclops and Jessica Rabbit, I mean Jean Grey clone, Madeline Pryor, who gave birth to their big super baby mutant in 1986's Uncanny X-Men number 201. But you're not supposed to know that yet. You see, the adult cyborg Cable that we and Ryan Reynolds all know and love made his first appearance in 1980's The New Mutants number 87 four years after Cyclops and Madeline's baby was introduced. He was created by Deadpool mastermind Rob Liefeld to give the plucky youngsters of Professor Xavier's Academy a gruffer foil to Prof X's nurturing presence. Also, Cable has hair and a badass metal arm. With me so far? Oh, you won't be in a second. Because here's where time travel comes in. What? Cool is this? Yes, you see, much like Keanu Reeves and Mr. Peabody, Cable can travel through time. Excellent! As such, he traveled back in time from the distant future in order to hang out with some X-Men, but in doing so, it was also revealed that he was, in fact, the adult version of Cyclops and Madeline Pryor's baby. Or was he? In a dispute of paternity that would fit at home on an episode of Jerry Springer, it turned out Cable was actually a clone of the villain Strife, who is said to be the real son of Cyclops. Or was he? Hmm. To save you and me a lot of time, no, is the answer to that question. He was not. Stripe was actually the clone, while Cable was Cyclops' son, but the family drama did result in the awesome development of Stripe possessing Cable from the grave, with the only outward sign of said possession being Cable growing a goatee. The most evil of all facial hair. <laughs> With that issue of familial lineage out of the way, we can now move on to how exactly Cyclops' son became a time-traveling cyborg in the first place. You know, it's actually a very simple story. You see, while shopping for sunglasses one- ah! The people need to know. Fine. Fine, no, let's do the entire convoluted thing. Cyclops' unnamed mutant baby was first sent to a distant future in 1991's X Factor number 68, after being infected with a virus that would ultimately transform him into the guy we all know and love with a sweet haircut and a badass metal arm. If you're expecting this to be the part in our tale where things finally start to simplify, all I can say is, no, it's not. Young Cable, or Nathan, or Nathan Christopher Charles Summers, or Nathan Dayspring, or his Connie son, or Josh Brolin, was raised as a prophesied figure destined to one day end the reign of ultra batty apocalypse in a way very similar to my own upbringing of being told I'd eventually one day host a series of online videos which was a bit confusing to me because the internet didn't exist yet. The pursuit of this fabled goal is what led Cable to begin traipsing about time like Michael J. Fox, going as far back as ancient Egypt to prevent Apocalypse's creation, to the 20th century to get his hands on a Zima for the all too brief window that it was available, to taking over the new mutants and eventually forming the X-Force that brought him together with Deadpool in the first place. Along the way, a whole bunch of crazy crap happened like being raised by time traveling versions of his father Cyclops and hanging out with his sister from another dimension to growing the aforementioned evil goatee. But really, all of this just scratches the surface of a character who with a backstory so complicated that one of my producers actually fainted halfway through making this video. So, in summary, baby, cyborg, time travel, evil clone, goatee, Keanu Reeves, an awesome haircut, and that sweet, sweet metal arm. Now that you know everything there is to know about Cable, what do you think about his complicated backstory? Is it too complicated? Is it not complicated enough? Let us know in the comments below, and check back here next Friday morning and every Friday morning for another episode of Heat Vision Breakdown. Yeah.